What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Wolfcry here, and we're back playing some more Seven Days to Die on day eight of my Try Hard series. Overnight, I did craft a second forge, and we actually have some brass and iron going in there. We're actually going to start doing some clay as well, so that we can start making bullet tips and bullet casings. Today, we've got a lot to do. I want to be able to get our storage set up and all of that, as well as get some quests done from the trader, because we are out of money, and possibly, whoops, I want those lucky goggles, and probably get some wood and more materials that we need to finish up this base. I really think this is starting to come together. We're going to finish up the outside, and we've got to get bars put up here to prevent the zombies coming into us. Now, the other thing is we're probably going to want to knock holes into this. I know we just upgraded it, but we're going to want it to knock holes into both sides. And we're going to want to actually get rid of this door entirely and block off this entire section. We want them coming up this platform here and over here so that we can stab them with our knife and shoot them while they're down the bottom. We do want to get bars put up, like I said, but for now, let's head over to the trader and we'll head that way. We'll gather some wood while we're waiting for the trader to open. We can actually take some of this wood right here. All right. So it's been a pretty good time so far. Horde night still probably won't be yet too bad with the upcoming day nine horde, but it will be a little bit harder. And we want to make sure that we are well prepared. We want to get some bullets and we want to make sure that everything is built up in there so that we can go ahead and get ourselves defended nicely. And we want the zombies pathing exactly where we want them. So we've still got a lot to do with that horde base. We might actually during day nine, let the zombies help us out by knocking parts of the wall out, see where they want to go. And then we can utilize that to finish breaking it down to actually let them in that direction. So that is a possibility as well. They're going to want to path to us, so they're going to break stuff on their way. And we could use that to our advantage. Hugh is open, so we're going to drive right over and see him, grab a quest, start getting stuff done today. We were able to grab 420 wood, so that's not bad. We'll get more as the day progresses and we get some stuff done. Speak quickly. All right, Hugh, let's go ahead and uh, see what you got for jobs. We can do this buried supplies or let's do this fetch. It's really, really close. So we'll get that done. No use checking anything, his inventory or the vending machine because we don't actually have any funds to go with it. So we are down to 65 Dukes. We'll probably store stuff in the bike. We're going to get rid of some of this stuff that we don't need. And hopefully I remember to use the uh, looting goggles on the stash inside. All right, into the city we go. What is this? It looks like electronic components, Moe's. We're going to check the truck first, see what it's got. Nope, we've already done that. All right. That screams zombie. Okay, one dead zombie. That bleed does a lot of work. Looks like we can go upstairs. We can also go into here. Hey. Little bit higher, a little bit lower. Dead. 
and dead. Uh, tech junkies, we already know, so we're gonna sell those. I should have uh, stored stuff in the bike first. Uh, we'll take that wood for sure. We could use the dye probably. And we got some meds, that's good. We're gonna go ahead and break this down. Oh, we got a wall safe. Take that chair and scrap it down for the leather. Uh, did we bring our time charges? Yes, we did. All right, let's get in there. Hopefully something good. A triple armor pocket mod. That is crazy good. That is awesome. We're actually going to put that right on right now. And we'll drop it right into our tier six padded leg armor. There we go. Nice. That was a good find. Solid. All right. So let's go ahead and head upstairs. Uh, there's two different ways, it looks like. Uh, maybe they both come up the same way? I don't know. I have never been in this POI before, so nothing there. Looks like you can drop in from the roof here and land on that cushion. <gasps> Ooh, that hurt. Let's go ahead and, uh... Use at least an aloe cream for that. Is this working? No, we can take this apart for the steel as well. Some coffee, that's good. I'm still kind of waiting on stuff to start dropping in on me. I don't know. Aha. All right, he took a little bit. Lock picks, that's good. All right, use the bullets, but that's okay. At least both shots hit. Let's check and see if there's uh, paper. We can just get rid of that. We don't need the paper right now. Uh, another tech junkie book we can sell and a baton we can sell. So that'll be good. Some more dukes. This way seems to be the right way. Is there a zombie? Yep. Ooh, he hit me. We're gonna go ahead and take a bandage. Alright, where to now? Ah, up. Up and around. Alright, we got a bunch waking up. I want to keep them both in front of me. Or all three in front of me, that is. <gasps> That's not good. All right, so let's head back upstairs. We gotta go all the way back up. All right, so that worked. Didn't mean to fall down, but it is what it is. Was there loot over here? No. Those are not plugs and we fell in. I don't wanna fall in there yet. There's nothing up here.
Hmm. Does not appear to be. Let's head up to the roof. There's our main stash. Oh, we gotta look for the supplies though. Wait, uh, did that count as opening? I think it did, but whatever. We'll switch to the lucky goggles. We'll grab that stuff. Uh, Molly's we might use, but I don't know. I haven't decided whether or not I'm going to allow myself the use of mollies and pipe bombs and stuff during horde nights. Definitely not during any other time. Uh, I'll eat the uh, pasta and the blueberries. We might as well eat those. And what else we got? We've got Bar Brawling 7. Drinking beer no longer blurs your vision. We'll probably just sell that, though. And we got some steroids, so that's not bad. All right. We do have to go down and find our supplies. Let's go ahead and head over here. Oops. Uh, more books to sell. An electric fence post schematic. Yes, please. Because we do want to get electric fences up as soon as possible. And more books. Wow. A lot of tech junkie stuff in this place. Uh, looks like we still have to go down. And down again? Really? All right. Let's go down here. So somehow we missed it. It was right here. And we got our quest done. Let's go hit up the trader. Where's our bike? All the way on the other side of the building. Not a bad haul. I think we made quite a decent chunk of money. So that's pretty good. Plus we got the reward coming from Hugh. Look at us getting shit done. All right, let's turn this in, see what we get. See if that extra point into daring adventure helped us at all. We get another thing to choose from as far as quest rewards. What's up, buddy? All right, so we got tier two claw hammer. Eh, vitamins, eh. Which one's going to sell for more, the shotgun ammo? So, actually, what does shotgun ammo smelt down to, or scrap down to? Lead. What does 762 scrap down to? Brass. I think from now on, we're going to scrap them down and use them to create 9 mil. All right, let's sell some stuff. That can go... Uh, the rest of this we'll likely just keep. I guess you're not so bad We're going to put the all. nerdy glasses back on and grab another job. Let's go ahead and do this fetch, which is a little bit further away. We have a deal. Not bad. We're already up to 1,795 dukes. That is Daylight pretty good. Burning. Let's go ahead and scrap all these shotgun shells. Wow, that's a decent amount of lead, at least. And let's go ahead and organize some stuff really quick. Actually, swap that. Let's get these up here. And we'll just mark off the first nine. That way we can store some stuff in the bike, at least. And actually, we can sell off this... There we go. Let's go ahead and head out. What's he got for candies, though? Uh, rock busters. That could come in handy. We will take the eye candy. And I think that's it for now. Yeah. That'll be all right. Let's go get this quest done. And grab some more wood. And work on the base a little bit more today. I think it's going to be a pretty good day, a pretty solid day of getting stuff done, as long as we don't 
do anything incredibly stupid, we'll be all right. All right, so we got a little warehouse area that we're going to be doing. I don't know why you're stuck, buddy. You should just be able to get over it. If it is. Ooh, nice loot bag. Let's go ahead and pop the lucky goggles on for that. Nine mil. Nice. We'll scrap the door handle. We'll just get rid of the blood bag. Very good. All right, that's going to be helpful. We're going to scrap some of this stuff and we're going to drop some things into the bike. Let's go ahead and just do that. We will keep the eye candy out. Maybe we'll use it in here. The sand I'm going to hold off on for now. I'll probably kick myself for that. And the blue dye we're going to go ahead and just put into our pistol. There we go. We'll put our nerdy glasses on and go ahead and start this quest. All right, looks like we head up this way. We'll try to conserve bullets for birds and dogs, stuff like that. And we'll use the knife and the arrows as we can. And looks like we're supposed to drop down here. Anybody home? There's gotta be zombies in here. The question is, where? As soon as I drop down. No? Yes? Alright. Let's break open some boxes. We got an iron shovel. Is that better than our stone? No, it is not. So we'll just take it for now. We'll probably just scrap it down along with the nails. Actually, I need nails. So we'll hold on to them if we can. What else do we have up here? We got plenty of cobble. We'll be taking that. And some more. The murky water is always good. We can turn that into drinkable water at the campfire. A switch, that's good. We got our switch back that we lost. Yep, thought so. I thought I saw something that you might have jumped out of. <gasps> we weren't reloaded, really? Oh, that sucks. But we got that aloe. We can just use that. Easy peasy. Some more recog. 200 wood. Thank you. Anything else over here? No? Toolbox. Some duct tape. We can always use duct tape. More murky water and regular water. We're going to have a drink right now. We're a little thirsty. Nothing major, but a little bit. Let's go ahead and head out here. Uh, he's on the outside. We can't do that, so... Whoa! Whoa! Yeah, we gotta level up. You know what? Let's just do that. It's a little bit easier. Uh, this level, we're gonna go ahead and put into agility. I wanna get that up. I wanna be able to put a point into the next level of deep cuts. We'll use the gun for dogs, always. Yeah. 
And there's our supplies. New toilet pistol? No. We're actually going to get rid of the rotten flesh and the bone for now. We will scrap the cooking pot and get rid of that sandwich too. Try to keep ourselves as unburdened as possible. Backpack in the corner. Gives us an empty can. Motion sensor. All right. We will have the gun out just in case. Hit your shots, please. And now we're infected, so we'll have to stop home and grab something for that. I think we have some honey or something. There was uh, a lot of zombies in there. But I think the area is roughly clear. Don't need that stuff there. And there's our main stash. Let's put our loot and goggles on. And we'll actually take an eye candy. Anything good? All right, we can scrap those bullets. We will definitely wear those. Uh, yeah. And we'll sell the other ones. Structural brace mod. We might learn that. I'm not sure yet. Scrap that stuff. We'll eat the miso. Take the beer to sell it at least. And we'll take the meds for sure. Gas can recipe. Yes, please. Can't do it till we get a chem station going, but that's all right. Let's scrap those cans. Anything else here? There's a box here. Paintbrush and some dye. You know what? Do we have a paintbrush? I'm keeping it. Maybe we'll use it. Get our frames back on our bar. Which means that we can actually drop this down to just eight that we keep. No more cobblestone or anything. All right, that sends us out here. Scrap the lead. And we are out. But I want to check over here. Is there anything in the truck? Backpack. We'll take the aloe cream. It has served us well so far. We've gotten a lot of wood just by looting up stuff. That's pretty good. Coffee beans? Nah, not right now. Sandwich? No. Let's go ahead and scrap that chair. And let's be on our way. Let's go turn this quest in and then we'll head home and see what else we can do with the base and get crafting on some bullets maybe all right we got two of our tier two quests done i want to know how many tier twos we've done so far one two three this is our fourth so three more over the next couple of days will end the tier two quest line you only need seven of them to complete it and then you can move on to tier threes, find another trader, and get your big reward for completing tier two. Maybe we'll get really lucky and it'll be a mini bike or something like that. That would be pretty sweet. But for now, let's go ahead and turn this in. I would do the restore power quest, but 
I want more bullets for that because those can be quite brutal. Let's take that and scrap them down. I think I would want more than just 37 backup 9 mil. Let's uh, check his inventory. We're going to learn the structural brace mod. I think we'll get rid of that. We can sell him the padded armor. And I think that's it. We're going to keep everything else. We are going to put our nerdy glasses back on. Uh, just so that we can remember to keep them on for building up the base and stuff like that to get the extra experience. What do you have for sale, though? Anything I can use, I could always use some gunpowder, so we're actually going to buy that. Uh, handgun parts he's got. He's got steel arrows. I want the tips, actually, instead. Uh, the arrow heads, that is. Still got that compound bow. He's got 9 mil if we need it. He's got a tier 4 pistol as well and a wooden bow. Hmm. I think the rest of this stuff I sold him, so let's check over here. Motorcycle chassis. Oh, that could come in handy. But I think that's about it. Yeah, we don't need any of this stuff right now. The bow and crossbow parts would come in handy. We could craft our own bow, but... For now, actually, let's take a quest for the morning. Let's go ahead and take a buried supplies quest. Can you do something? Glad you came to that'll be towards the north. So that'll be uh, useful. We can get that done early in the morning. We'll get ourselves some more clay anyways, and maybe a little bit of food. All right, let's go ahead and head home and take some antibiotics and get to work on the base a little bit more. Tomorrow is Horde Night, but I do want to get some quests done in the morning and then get ourselves situated. Today was quite the successful day. We took a couple of unnecessary hits, unfortunately, but we survived. Nothing major went wrong, and we were able to get two quests done and get ourselves poised in a much better place going into day nine, which is going to be good. Tomorrow should be an easy night if I can get them going exactly where I want them. Let's go ahead and take everything out of the bike. And head in. Uh, first thing I'm going to do before I go upstairs is knock this door out and block it off entirely. We have the access if we want from upstairs. So if we want to utilize this room, we do have access without this door. So I think just taking it away as a possible way for the zombies to go is a much better option. We can just upgrade it right to cobble. What do we have? Do we have any honey? Yes, we do. So that'll take care of the infection. We also, do we have any vitamins? Any vitamins at all? Yes, we do. That'll cure the fatigue. And we'll have to add another one. That's perfect. Nice. Now we can go ahead and continue breaking this stuff down once we repair the stone axe. All right, so there we go. Let's go ahead and get some storage up. Okay. So now we can go ahead and start storing some stuff. Food and meds will go there. Bats. Guns in ammo tech and mods and parts and there we go we can start putting stuff away 
All right, I'll probably spend the night doing that. For now, what I want to do really quick is get our bars up. Bras. No, bars. There we go. I think that's what we need for now, because we're going to leave one space open there for electric fence. We don't need much for now other than that. Let's go ahead and start upgrading some of this stuff. Actually, we're going to grab our hammer. So through the nighttime hours, I'm moving all of this stuff over there into our new living quarters and I'll finish that up as well. We might break that one, so we're not going to upgrade it all the way to cobble. Now, we're also going to need a way to prevent them from actually coming into us. But we don't want to block them entirely because we do want to get some shots with the knife. So... Let's go with pole. Which one? Centered or let's go with this one maybe. There's that, and I think we actually still want to do another one. Right there. That'll work. This side will be for putting an electric fence there and an electric fence over here so that it catches them right as they get to the edge. That's going to be the plan. Can we make a generator bank yet? We can. And we have probably all the parts. We might be able to get an electric fence set up before Horde Night. So that'll be good. All right, through the nighttime hours, I'm going to spend some more time breaking some stuff. We're going to try our best to actually bring this down tonight. Uh, we're getting there. The bottom part is going to be the big problem. That one's 10,000 HP, but we're getting there on this one. So hopefully we can take this out and make that fall and that'll be good. And then if we can get a generator bank going and some electric fences going, we'll do that as well, as well as some bullets and stuff like that. We'll be all set to go for tomorrow. But with that, ladies and gentlemen, I want to say thank you so very much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. I always greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and you all have a fantastic day. Peace.